In this exercise about exoplanets, students work in groups of four or five, building models of planetary systems, comparing these to our own solar system, and considering the possibility for life. All the information used is based on real scientific data. The first thing you'll need to make your model is a sheet of polystyrene. This is polystyrene which I've bought from a hardware store. It's insulation material. And I've cut it to about 50 centimetres by 50 centimetres. Then you need to cover it with some black sugar paper to draw on the grid for your planetary system. Each group get a planet information sheet and there are four different planet information sheets. They each get a sheet about the solar system for comparison and they get information sheets which hopefully recap on the information they should have learned already about exoplanets. It's either through watching the video or through other information you've given them. And a task sheet so they know exactly what they have to do in the exercise. The first task is to draw the orbits of the planets onto the model. That's That's not the best. Next, the pupils are asked to mark on their model where the Earth, Jupiter and Neptune would be if they fit. So none of them do. Using the calculation given on the fact sheet, they then have to work out where the habitable zone would be and mark that out. Once the orbits have been marked on the model, pupils have to make their parent star out of plasticine and position it in their model. Next, the pupils have to make their planets, asking them to think about what the planets in our solar system look like and to consider scale in terms of the relative sizes of the planets. And again, position on their model. Once the models are completed, pupils are asked to consider whether life could be supported anywhere in the system and what it might be like. The class can compare the four different systems and consider how they differ from our own solar system.